Hello, today I'm going to show you how to resize an EXT4 partition using Ubuntu 18.04. This should work on pretty much any Linux distribution as long as the file system is uh, an EXT2, 3, or 4. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a partition and we're going to resize it to use up all free space on the drive. This would be useful if uh, if you've uh, burned an image to something like an SD card or something like that that gives you a Linux distribution and you want to make sure that you can use all the free space available on the uh, storage device. Uh, this would be particularly useful on something like a Raspberry Pi um, or like a RetroPie and you're using uh, external storage instead of the built-in SD card. Uh, but this should work for uh, generally any Linux setup. I'm going to bring a terminal up and I'm just going to take a look at the uh, devices that we've got. Uh, the one we're looking for is going to be, in this case, SDA. Uh, this is a virtual drive that I've got set up that is 10 gigabytes uh, in size for capacity. And it has one partition on it right now that's just about 6 gigabytes large. And it's our root partition. So it's it holds our Linux operating system that we're using. Uh, we're not in this case we're not resizing a file system that just holds just data it's the actual operating system the the root system drive we're going to need a couple of bits of information about that partition uh, we're going to use sudo fdisk and we're going to choose the not the partition but the uh, the device dev SDA. And then we're going to choose option P. And that will show all the information about the device and any partitions that are on it. So there's two bits of information. One's really important and one is just something to keep an eye on. The really important one is where it says, so there's our there's the petition that we want to resize. The start sector size is 2048. This is a really important number. Um, if if this is the only partition that's on your your device, your storage device, um, this may always be 2048, but don't count on it. You want to make sure that you know what this number is, the start number. Um, It'll show you what the end sector number is that, that we're currently using, and that's the number that we're going to be changing. If we look at the up here where it gives information about the, the disk device itself, it will show that it has a maximum of that number of sectors. Um, we don't need to know this, but it's a good idea to keep an eye on this just to make sure that everything's going to work as expected. So. Um, oh, and let me take a moment to point out that this is a somewhat risky procedure. Uh, FDisk will do some things to uh, keep mistakes to a minimum. Um, it won't commit any changes that you're making until you issue the right command. Um, all the stuff that we're going to do up before the right command can be ignored if we make a mistake. Uh, but once you execute the right command, anything that you've done, even if it's a mistake, it's going to commit it. And if you're not careful, you could suffer some data loss. Um, so make sure that you have a good backup. It's also good to point out that um, if you're able to boot your Linux system using something like a live CD and run gparted, you it, 
much safer and it's easier to see what's going on, easier, easier to visualize it, less likely to make mistakes. Gparted will do a whole bunch of checks before attempting to do a resize and if any little thing is off, it will not do it. So Gparted will keep you very safe, but it does mean that you have to um, you either have to boot up your your system using a live CD or like if you're using a Raspberry Pi, you need to take your SD card out, stick it in a Linux computer and run Gparted on the computer. Um, but we're not going to go over that. The, the, the downside of that is you have to take the system offline, you have to either boot it up off a of live CD or remove the storage media and while that's preferable and safer, it may be inconvenient, it may be impossible for some reason, uh, it, you might be working on a remote server, uh, just know that what we're doing is risky. So you've been warned. Make sure you got backups. The reason it's dangerous is this partition here, this SDA one, we're going to delete it. Um, it's not going to remove the data. All the data is going to be left alone exactly as is on the storage device, but we're going to remove the entry for the partition. And we're just going to hit D. So partition one has been deleted. Partition one is the dev SDA one. We're going to make a new one. It's a new partition. Uh, your, your setup may vary, but for this demonstration, we're going to choose primary. And we're going to choose one. This is where those sector numbers come in. Uh, so previously, the SDA1 partition started at 2048. Uh, FDisk is offering to start it at 2048 because, well, there's no partitions at all, so it's just going to use the first sector. So we're pretty safe at this point, but on on your setup, you want to make sure that those are the the start sector uh, is either the one that's suggested or put it in manually. And like if if you were going to put it in manually, you would just do 2048 and hit enter. Last sector. This is, this is how we're going to resize the partition. Uh, previously, the last sector is was this number. And we're, we want to use all available space that's left on the storage device. So we want the last sector to be this number here. And since, again, there's no other partitions on the device, FDisk has suggested that we use uh, almost that number. It's it's minus one sector, but that's fine. Um, you'll just want to when you're doing this on your own, you want to make sure that the end sector that FDisk suggests and the one that is on the device looks sane. So that's good enough. Um, we don't need to type it because it says the default is going to be that. So I'm just going to hit enter. So when we choose to do a new partition over top of the old one. It's going to say that the partition contains an ext4 signature. We want to leave this there. Uh, so where it says, do you want to remove this signature, we're going to choose no. OK, um, we haven't actually made any changes yet, but I'm going to choose p to list out what it should look like. So here's the same listing of our storage device and the partitions on it. There's our first partition, the SDA1. Start sectors, as we would expect, that hasn't changed. In sector is a lot higher. It's the one that FDisk used earlier. Size, instead of being 6 gig, it's 10 gig, which is exactly what we want. And the ID and type is still 83 Linux. So this is your last chance. Make sure all of this stuff looks the way you want it before you write any changes. If anything looks off, stop. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and choose W to write those changes. Partition table has been altered, syncing disks. So that's done. What we've done is we've resized the partition to utilize all the space that's available on the device. There is one more step that we need to do. We need to tell the file system to use all the space available in the partition. So originally the partition was 6 gig, we expanded it to 10. Now we need to tell the file system to also expand to about 10. 
and this is pretty easy. Um, we're dealing with our root, um, sorry, we're dealing with the, the SDA1 partition. So we're just going to do sudo resize 2fs dev SDA1. And that's it. It's done. The file system itself has been resized to fit all available space in the partition. And we can verify that two ways. We can do uh, lsblk. There's our SDA1. Its new size is 10 gig. It's still our root partition. That's good. Uh, we can also do a disk free on root. And it will say, you know, about, about 10 gigs, which is, again, what we would expect. Um, just to make sure everything's okay, I'm going to reboot. Um, just to verify that our changes have been saved. Okay, we're back up. I'm going to open up terminal. I'm going to do a disk free root. So our numbers look exactly like we would expect. So that's it. Uh, we've resized a partition and the file system to utilize all available free space on a storage device, uh, on a running system on the root uh, partition. Thank you for watching.